Hey guys, welcome back to Just Pure Cars. Today is a really exciting day for me. I get to introduce you to a brand new car. Welcome back guys. As I was saying, it's an exciting day. I've got a brand new car to introduce you to. I've done this a little bit backwards. I was supposed to look for the Mini first, but I just couldn't resist. So the first car on Just Pure Cars is gonna be a Honda Civic Type R. I love the styling of this thing, inside and out, it's a bit crazy, obviously it's a bit of a Marmite car, but that engine is just amazing. Let me see if I can give you a little blast. So third gear, second gear, up to 4,000 revs. Red liner at 8,000. It's just amazing, it just gives you such a good noise. Um, when that power band kicks in from the VTEC technology at about 5,500 revs, it just takes off. Um, and it just, it's just begging to be driven hard. But when you don't want to drive it hard, so far it seems like you can just cruise around, you know, regular driving, and it's quite a subdued car really, it's, you know, because that power band really kicks in at 5,500. Regular driving around town, you're not hitting that. So, you know, it's quite a comfortable car to drive. Um, and you're not being a, a, a obnoxious or anything. You're not going to be annoying anybody. <laughs> Uh, but when it does kick in, it does give you quite a nice sound and a, a nice little boost of power. Now, interior, I think this is really nice. These seats are just so comfortable. Um, I've always wanted some racing seats. I mean, it's probably like every boy's dream to have some racing bucket seats, but uh, I've never had any in a car before. Um, not like this, anyway. And I think they look really nice. The black on red looks great. Um, I'd say they are really comfortable to sit in. And the, it's like a suede Alcantara uh, material. It just feels really good. Um, and then, in terms of the materials and the rest of the cabin, build quality is fantastic. I mean, Honda, they make some really good cars. The materials aren't as good as what I you know, see in a BMW. Um, you know, the plastics are plastic um, and they feel it, but I mean, for the, for the money, who cares? It's not about that, it's about the driving experience, uh, to be fair. Um, and I think the fact that they've gone out with these seats and things just makes it a little bit more crazy so uh, yeah I think that's off to Honda good job <laughs> between 
seven and, and nine thousand pounds. I don't think that's a lot of money to spend for a car which is going to give you, you know, a lot of fun. And actually, it's really quite roomy in here. I mean, the back. I thought trying to get like a, a kiddie seat in the back would be a nightmare, but actually, the doors open really wide. The seats fold forward really far. So, so far, pretty good. Um, the only thing I'd say is I'm not the tallest guy in the world, and there doesn't seem to be a lot of headroom here. And I've got the seat as low down as possible. Um, and there doesn't seem a lot of room, so like a six foot would really struggle, I think. I guess the seat would be further back, so be, it goes up, but still, might be a little bit snug for a, a really tall person, but for me, I don't have that problem, and uh, it's more than comfortable. So let's talk about how I ended up with this car. Because um, as you know, my original plan was to find a Mini or something small first that I could keep as my daily driver, then sell the BMW and then look to buy the main car. Now, um, this came up a, a week or so ago and I, I messaged the guy who was selling it and I never heard back from him, so I just assumed it was gone. Um, and what caught my eye was it's really low mileage for the age. 2009 it's got under 35,000 miles which is really low. Um, full service history with Honda and just generally looked really clean. Anyway he didn't get back to me um, so I thought okay it's gone. Uh, I started looking at minis and I was actually in negotiation with uh, a guy on a mini but it all went a bit quiet and I think he, he, he wasn't prepared to go as low as I was wanting to pay. Um, and then out of the blue, I got a text from the guy selling this saying, the Type R is available, are you interested? And obviously I had to jump on it. Uh, I went straight around to see it and it was so clean. I mean, you see from the walk around, it, it just there's no marks on the body at all. I mean, the engine bay is the cleanest I think I've ever seen on a, on a used car. And I just had to have it. So uh, yeah, it was, it was a no-brainer for me really. It's one of those situations where you just can't say no to that opportunity. Um, the guy who owned it really looked after it. He had it from, uh, five, from his second owner. He had it with 5,000 miles on the clock up to now. Full Honda service history. Um, he was really meticulous about how he looked after the car. Even down to the point where the tyres, he would only get Honda to change the tyres out. He didn't want any of the local um, tyre companies to change it over because he thought they'd scratch the alloys. Um, and the tyres he put on are really sticky rubber. They're Bridgestones um, and they feel so grippy. So yeah, he really looked after it and it was such a good price I just couldn't say no so I'm, and I'm really glad I didn't I'm glad I, I, I kind of went the wrong way around and got this rather than the mini first because I would have missed out on something which is an amazing car um, and say so it's only early days it's my first impression so you know let me live with it for a little while and see if I still like it in, uh, in a few weeks but so far it's been really good I really like it I think the interior is cool this dash is just a bit mad um, I mean the the, the the, the LCD, it's like they're using a the digital display from a, a Casio watch from the 80s or something, but I kind of like that. I mean, it's kind of like retro cool, I guess. Um, so yeah, first impressions, really like it. Okay, so that's the introduction to my Type R. As I said, so far, I'm really impressed. I'm really glad I made the jump and uh, bought this car. Um, I'm really excited to see what the next few weeks are going to be like living with it and obviously making some content for you about it. If you've got any requests, any suggestions, obviously leave them in the comment box below. Uh, if you like the video, hit the thumbs up button. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe to the channel um, and spread the word. And yeah, I hope to make some really good content for you about this one and then obviously more in the future. So with that, I appreciate you watching and until the next one, I'll see you later. Cheers, guys.